Welcome to a Motor Control Center troubleshooting training, a part of AVO Training Virtual Reality Training Program. The goal of this self-guided training module is to enhance product competency, troubleshooting skills and safe operation of motor control centers. One of the motors has stopped unexpectedly. Approach an MCC bucket and perform a manual restart. Undiscovered equipment failure led to the onset of the incident, which can cause a serious injuries. Incorrect use or absence of PPE putting yourself at additional risk. All employees must comply with their duties and follow safe systems of work and site rules required to protect your health and safety. Using PPE suitable for working near exposed live parts and rated for the voltage and energy level involved is mandatory. Any loss, failure or refusal to do so can be treated as gross misconduct and may result in a serious injuries. Welcome to a Motor Control Center troubleshooting training, a part of AVO Training Virtual Reality Training Program. The goal of this self-guided training module is to enhance product competency, troubleshooting skills and safe operation of motor control centers. One of the motors has stopped unexpectedly. Approach an MCC bucket and perform a manual restart. This is a designated PPE storage area. All the personal protective equipment you may need while working is located in PPE lockers. Once all the potential hazards and risks are identified, proceed selecting your personal protective equipment gear. Take required items from the shelf and put them on the table nearby. Once you're consider warning signs, potential hazards and the layout of the work area and select appropriate PPE. When selection is complete, press put on selected PPE gear button in the be sure an appropriate PPE is selected to ensure safety and reduce exposure to hazards when working with electricity. Press confirm to confirm selection or discard to change your personal protective equipment gear. Remember that the circuits and equipment to be worked on shall be disconnected from all electric energy sources. A lock and a tag shall be placed on each disconnecting means, used to de-energize circuits and equipment on which work is to be performed. Follow the steps from the list in a pop-up window to establish a safe work area.
one of the motors has stopped unexpectedly. Approach an MCC bucket and perform a manual restart. This is a designated PPE storage area. All the personal protective equipment you may need while working is located in PPE lockers. Once all the potential hazards and risks are identified, proceed selecting your personal protective equipment gear. Take required items from the shelf and put them on the table nearby. Once you're done, confirm your selection in a pop-up menu. Consider warning signs, potential hazards in the layout of the work area and select appropriate PPE. When selection is complete, press put on selected PPE gear button in the pop-up menu to wear your personal protective equipment. Ensure an appropriate PPE is selected to ensure safety and reduce exposure to hazards when working with electricity. Press Confirm to confirm selection or discard to change your personal protective equipment gear. Remember that the circuits and equipment to be worked on, shall be disconnected from all electric energy sources. A lock and a tag shall be placed on each disconnecting means, used to de-energize circuits and equipment on which work is to be performed. Follow the steps from the list in a pop-up window to establish a safe work area.
was successfully detected and fixed. A motor can be put back into service. A training module is complete. Thank you for attending this MCC troubleshooting experience. Your training session results are displayed in a pop-up window. Click Next to switch between result categories or close to exit the application.